What is going on out there, people? I'll tell you what's going on here. We're busy. That's right, we're busy, busy, busy. So let me see what's going on. Let's turn the tunes down. Get up here. The old, oh God, the old Siri ass radio. What do we got here? I'll give you a hint. What do you think we got here? Are you getting dizzy yet? Anyway, we got a Scout, 1980 Scout. Came in for some rust repair. Actually, it's in really good shape for being, you know, four-wheel, there we are. We got it, got it all cut out up in there. Kind of rotten in there. Already put a patch in here, got that done. Back in, took a little whammy there. Gonna fix that up. But cool little truck. Scouts, Blazers, Broncos, they're all kind of cool, aren't they? So we're doing just a little bit of rust repair down there, down the front. Same thing. This side's going to be cut out. This fender needs rust repair. Again, down here, you can see it's kind of bubbling, needs it. Oh, and the floor, I don't know if you can tell, it's pretty dark in here, but you, you can see the texture. That's all fiberglass clothing and whatever else they've chunked in there. So we'll get all that fixed up. But yeah, awesome little vehicle. We're waiting on a couple parts for the Buick, which will be here pretty quick. Be pretty quick. Um, crew cab box right there. Let's go check out some things, see what's going on outside here. Oh, and here's the Scout's fender. Welded a brand new patch in there. Mike did an awesome job. He's got that all done. I'm in a good mood because it's sunny. I'm loving the sunshine. Just can't beat this weather. Let's so we'll see what's happening out here. Oh, the door's down. The door's down. I'll get on. Okay, so here we go. Here is the Ford Crew Cab. Sean has started the bodywork. Looking really good. He's getting everywhere. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Now we'll go inside. I don't know why this door is down. Let me open this up. Probably down because half the time the bloody thing falls down. Let's take a look in here. This is what's happening in here today. That's right. The little bugger, the little Frankenstein, needs a little paint. A little Frankie. Little Frankie's gonna get a little Matrix tonight. Because little Frankie needs to go home in a couple weeks. So that's what's happening. So we're going to get this video up and rolling some more because we're going to show you as we're putting some uh, paint down here. So that is what is going on. Oh, let's close this up. There we go. Yeah, that's about what's going on out here. Mustangs undercover. We're going to be taking the Mustang. We're going to get that all sorted out here. I'm going to start on that next week and get the wiring done. 54 Ford. I was working on the 54 Ford today. Um, the heater fan wasn't working. I got that all wired in and working. I got uh, the new electric wipers put in it today. So I did a bit to that. So that turned out really well. I was happy with that. The only thing now i got to fix on it is the horns aren't working. Get the horns working and away we go. So, we'll get back in here. I'm going to shut this camera off. I'm going to get back to doing some work. And uh, we'll get some paint put down for you guys so you can check it out. Okay, back in a bit. All right, let's check out the bug. The bug, bug. Look at there. 
Isn't she nice and shiny? It's looking good. Nothing more difficult to paint than this. I mean, try and get in all these nooks and crannies. I mean, there's always going to be something a little bit you're going to just miss somewhere. It just, in, in my opinion anyway, I mean, how do you... But, I think we nailed it pretty good because I don't see any spots missed. Now remember, back in here, we didn't bother. It's all covered up. The customer said leave it alone, so it's just a quick little coat of base. It's got a little overspray of uh, clear coat on it, so it's all good. Dash is your priority on the inside. Up and along with your header panel. She got underneath this area. Not that anyone sees it, but we got that. And again, in here, this is all covered with carpeting. So do you see how it's a little different looking? See how it's just kind of a little rougher looking? Because just one light coat of clear over top of that. Nothing fancy. But you can see the difference here. Look how smooth it is here. Got all the jam areas done. Right down to underneath the car. Look at that. Look at underneath here. Absolutely beautiful. Got all that. All the engine bay. I think we did pretty good here. Anyway. All right, well, let's get this little sucker this little bugger, the little bugger. Let's get the little Frankie sign unmasked and see where we go from there. But we are happy. It is looking good. That's the worst part of painting this whole car, honestly. The car itself outside, like I say, you're outside, you can get right at it. This inside stuff, oh my God. It's just difficult as hell. All right, so I'm working on the, uh, the owner of the Mustang came by, got us some new hinges. So I'm working on getting those clamped in the vise here and putting the springs on them. Sometimes that can be a bit of a bitch. So I'm going to go grab one of the old ones and just make sure I get it put together right, copy it. So I'm working on that. Uh, a few other little things here and there. Shop. The walls are looking pretty bare, aren't they? I'm ripping a lot of stuff down. It's been 15 years. It's time to, uh, after 15 years, normally I try and do it every five years, I just give this thing, I call it a wash. What I mean by a wash is I'll come in here, blow every single thing from top to bottom down, and then uh, give it a slap on a quick coat of paint. You're never going to make it perfect, you're always going to get stuff like this where the stains are going to bleed through. But I just like to give it a coat of paint, you can see how dirty and disgusting it's getting and it brightens it up. I usually do it in the, uh, in the spring, summer because then the doors are open and uh, the dust seems to go outside more. In the winter time, there'd be no point trying to paint in here because the doors are closed and it just gets filthy. So I gotta take all this stuff down. Look at all my goodies. You think I got enough glass pack mufflers? I've got mufflers up there that are right from the 50s and not repops, believe it or not. Torque converter, shoebox Ford stuff, brakes, everything. But we're gonna do this whole section. So that wall there, get all that shit down. Everything down there across the front, and then we're gonna come up and cross up over here. That's the plan for Sunday, yes. So, my Sunday fun day is gonna be trying to paint this with help from a guy, good guy, uh, work on Terry's car, plus work on my Model A. That's my Sunday fun day, so it's gonna be one hell of a Sunday fun day coming up. But the bug's unmasked, let's take a quick look at it. i tell you, I got bad heartburn. I had too many, uh, I was out drinking last night tequila. I went to some Mexican. Of course, I can't have Mexican without tequila. Uh, so there we go. It's all unmasked. Look at that. Oh my God. Absolutely stunning. Oh. I don't know what to tell you. Actually, I do know what to tell you. You know what I got to tell you? It's always a good time at old time. I almost screwed that up, didn't I? Anyway, hey, we'll see you on Sunday.